How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this guitar lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Red Red Wine as recorded by UB40 on guitar. Now there's three sections to know to be able to play this song. The chorus, the interlude, and the verse. I'm going to break them all down for you step by step so when you're done with this lesson you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching my videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, let's dive into today's lesson. Let's learn how to play Red Red Wine as recorded by UB40 on guitar. Now we're going to start off with the chorus section, and there's three parts we're going to cover. The chorus, a little interlude, and then the verse. The chorus is where they sing Red Red Wine, and the guitar and organ are playing an upbeat groove together. Here's what it sounds like. So we've got the vocal leading us in. Red Red Wine So we're going to be playing triads, and I'm going to use the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings for these triads. The first chord is D flat, and the song's in the key of D flat, but it looks like to me kind of like an A shape up here at the 6th fret. So I'm going to play 6, 6, and then 6 on the 2nd string. So we're going to play that chord, then we'll move to a G flat, which is on those same strings, four, three, two. Just lining my fingers up right in a row. Ring finger, middle finger, index. Now I'm muting all the other strings. We're only gonna let these strings come through. Then I'll move this up two frets to A flat, and those are gonna be our shapes for the first six bars. So we're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's our figure there. We're spending two strums or two beats in this case on each chord. We're gonna go D flat to G flat, then A flat to G flat. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now I'm resting with my strum hand here on the downbeat and then on the and I'm strumming the chord. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now there is some different bass motion here. So like if I add the bass notes, it's a D flat, G flat, A flat over E flat, and then G flat over A flat. So all together that would be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. But if I'm playing with a band, typically I'll just par the chord down and play a triad. So we're going to do that three times. Let's try it together. Here we go. Three and four and one. Second time. Third time. After the third time, we're going to bring in a new chord here. We're going to go up to an A flat 6. And it looks like our A flat chord that we've been playing, but we're going to add our pinky to the 6th fret on the 2nd string there. So it's 6, 5, and then 6. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and. Now this chord is going to last for a whole measure. So we're going to do 4 strums on this chord. 
then we go back down to G flat, and then A flat with two beats each. One, two, and three, and four, and. And that's the chorus section. So for context, here's the whole chorus. It's eight bars long, played as one piece. One, and two, and ready, and go, and. To that A flat six, three and four and G flat, A flat. All right, so that's our chorus section. Then we hit this little interlude, which is just that first figure. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's it. So D flat, G flat, A flat, G flat. Now the last section we have to learn is the verse, and it's another eight bar chord progression. It sounds like this. One. All right, so no new chords here. We're just gonna reorder the ones that we have. We're gonna play an A flat for one bar. Then we'll go to D flat. Now all these chords last one bar. G flat, and then back to D flat. Okay, that's the first half. Now, of course, we're gonna keep our upbeat groove going. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and G flat, D flat. Okay, we do the same thing again, but we change the last chord. We're gonna go A flat, D flat, G flat. This time, instead of going to D flat, we're gonna go up to A flat. So that's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and D flat, G flat, A flat, Back to the chorus, red, red wine. Now the lyric cue for the verse is, I'd have sworn that with time. And that's where that A flat comes in. Congrats on making it through this guitar lesson. I hope that this video made it easier for you and helps explain some of the guitar parts and how this works and how you can put it all together. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube videos here on the channel so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with a written out guitar part. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.